Hey, look at that! You see that? That chain is glitching. See how that on the right side there? I, I think it might just be the odd surface area that I'm sitting on here, but... See, it, it just looks like it keeps teleporting from one place to another, and his back left paw also seems to be doing something oddly similar as well. Wow. Interesting find, I must say. I also gotta mention this before I get the actual part started. Look at this. If you look directly in the sun, see how everything gets darker like that? That, I think, is a really neat effect. It, what they're doing here is they are imitating the way a camera camera's exposure works, so I think that is a really nice touch. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Officially, I'm warping over to the Gerudo Desert at nighttime because look at what's right up at the top here. And also something else is over here that I'm going to be covering shortly. But that's a dungeon in on itself, an optional dungeon. Well, it's not optional actually because there's three holes inside it. But oh boy, that's gonna be one heck of a challenge. <laughs> anyway. Today I'm going to be exploring Ye Ola Desert here, and preferably starting at the perimeter and ugh, and just keep going, keep going, and until I find some holes. Basically, I'm gonna skim back and forth around this area, and it should all come together if I do it this way. Hopefully, <laughs> at least in my planning. So if I just keep going like so, actually, oh, I need a boar to be able to get through that. Ah, okay, I'll be back there later when I get a boar from that, that camp. I forgot all about that. I would have gotten that earlier when I was in that, that segment, but yeah. You remember when Link was riding those boars way back at that camp? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about because the... Um, you have to take one all the way back through the desert to get to that little hidden area of sorts. Anyway, here's the first Poe, well, just the second Poe actually, and oh, a handy look, and a dig spot as well. But I mean the first Poe that's like out of, out of the way. <laughs> there we go, and voila as well, for good measure. Now what's in here? I might as well check that out just as long as I see it, because, you know, why not? <laughs> Oh, this cave, I remember it now. It is a spider infestation like no other. <laughs> You'll notice that you can attack them when they sort of get on their hind legs, if, if they sort of speak out, hind legs like so, otherwise they block their, otherwise they block your attacks. I noticed that in the other part and it's rather, rather easy to uh, predict their movements and if you actually Pay, pay attention. <laughs> but I guess I didn't do that before, and I always just attacked blindly into those critters, and yeah, that's how I ended up always having blocked attacks. And I can't pick that up. But what else is new? <laughs> Alright, what's what else is in this cave here? Okay. Well, dulling my sword is in this cave, I suppose. Nah, that can't happen. <laughs> Well, I can in Majora's Mask, though, but that's an entirely different game and story. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess that's it. There really wasn't much to this cave aside from that chest. Oh, uh, I guess there was those pots on the ceiling, but you know, those never carry anything that are more than just a few rupees or seeds or something like that anyway. Do a wolf. There we go. And I'm just gonna keep going along this area. And I'm gonna explore as much as I can, I suppose. You can't really get back to Lake Hylia from this place. It's you can be shot here from the cannon, but you can't actually get back over here. What is that over there? I don't I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Or maybe I did and I just don't remember. You seen that thing that was that thing just went it just jumped right down the fissure. <laughs> This thing right here. Oh, I'm on the wrong side still. And I would like to get through this place 
fairly fast because I really, really would hate to wait for day to turn into night again to get Poe's. But you know, things just might happen that way because I might miscalculate the time period or whatnot. Hopefully that won't be the case. And that's a little treasure chest. Probably nothing that I can pick up. Wait, wait can I? No, I'm not lard. Oh, I'm at 9.99. <laughs> Well, that's there if you need it. <laughs> I wonder if I should be sensing along the way. Like, maybe I'll find some caves and stuff like that. But at the same time, I don't really... <laughs> it, it's kind of hard to see otherwise. And I'm just looking for poles at the moment here. And I think there's one, or there should be one... We're on this. Oh, it's up there. Okay, I was right about being in being in this area. Wait, how the heck do I get up there from the other side, maybe? <laughs> and I'm just gonna go along the perimeter here and see if there's a place that I can get myself up there. Eh. Must. Oh, oh, I remember now. You go. I'll get another pole on my way there, but you go all the way over to where you can climb up and then go around the edges. Like you see, you climb up here, like so. Eh. Eh. But I'm gonna get the pole that is over here just because I'm really close to it, and why not? Come on, down here. Oh, jeez. Well. Can I lock onto? No, I want to get the finish. Yes. <laughs> I was worried that I, would, that I would have to try again on it. You know, it would recover or something like that because of those dang levers. All right, now you want to go around this way, I think. Oh, there's a chest here I forgot about on my other route through here. Hey, something I can pick up. <laughs> I thought you got up there from. Do I have to be human to get up there? I don't think so. Because Wolf Link is pretty agile. <laughs> I am... befuddled here. I forgot how to get up there. Unless I was supposed to break through... those... via a boar that you can get over here and then... climb up there somehow, some way. Hey, wait a second. Is that something... Oh, uh, that's just a little detailing. Needless to say, the camp is abandoned now. But you can still have fun with the boars. Whee! Alright, let's get ourselves... ...aimed up with those. That might be the thing that I'm looking for, that might not. I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. I just want to look between them, or look through them. Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> I can't pick that up, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, Can I get on? There we go. I was waiting for the icon to show there, but it just wasn't. There we go. I'm just mumbling all the time now because I'm puzzled. <laughs> no, don't lose control, Link. There we go. Yeah, how do I... Maybe what I'm supposed to do is use... Midna- Oh, that tree! Okay, I'm gonna hit the wall. <laughs> and then I'm going to... Claw shot my way up there. It makes sense now. So it wasn't on the other side like I thought. You use... This... To get up here. The dead tree. And then you go over to the pole. Alrighty! There is a, ca a cave that's very important underneath here as well, so keep that in mind. Do not forget about it in the slightest. And there we go. And dig in here quickly before it turns daybreak to save the time. That was a lot of pointless wandering around. Oh, jeez. Oh! One's right there. <laughs> just take care of you before I... Whoa! 
I was gonna say before I break out your brethren, but I figure the ghost would be able to go right through the walls. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> and I'll explore this cave just for the heck of it. And there's the other one. Alright, human time. And I'll switch bombs. Because the water bombs are more valuable than your typical regular bombs. Just blast around the whole area, I suppose. See how many things I can clear out at once. And I don't want to climb up there just yet. I just want to see around the perimeter if there's anything of interest. No. I'm sure this is going to be... I mean, I'm sure it's going to give me a chest that I can't collect. <laughs> you know, once I get the uh, prize from here. Okay, there wasn't any torches over there. And it's going to be rupees. I bet it's going to be rupees. <laughs> I should put away that lantern before I run out of oil. Yeah, it's 100 rupees. Well, it's one rupee that is worth a hundred. So I, I was kind of misleading with my statement there. <laughs> Alright. Now... I'm going to go back to the camp area. Because I believe there is a pole there. Not... Not where there was a, um... I'm gonna transform into a wolf here. Because I realize I'm getting, gonna be very slow in the sand. But, um... I realized that there was a Poe back in the middle of this area, I think, that I missed. So I'm going to see you back at the main base camp place. Crappers, it's turning daytime! I gotta get to where I think there is a Poe and get there quickly. <laughs> there we go, there it is. Um... Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get it before? Yes! Yes! Alright! I think that's all the poles in the desert, actually. Yeah, because the last three are in the Cave of Ordeals. So, I did manage to do it without having to... <sighs> wait for it to turn nighttime again. <laughs> I am proud of myself. I was a little worried that I would have to uh, do that in two cycles there. But I knew I'd eventually get it done. Alright, so now... Just for kicks... I'm going to... Oh wait, I can't get a boar out from here, can I? Because I, I need to get a boar... Remember at the other side of the desert where... There was the, um... That blocked-in area that was that you can only break through with a boar. Oh, I can break out through there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go to next. I'm just gonna get over there with my raging boar here and show you the pathway that I'll take to get to it. Voila. And yeah, that's how you get out of that place without having the warp. Oh, please don't knock me off my boar. Cause it's kind of annoying to get through here otherwise. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, this is fine. <laughs> I started pulling back there, but it was too late. I mean, I pulled back on the control stick there. Um, I don't I don't think I, I can fall off the edge with a boar, actually. Yeah, like like an, a, um, a fissure or something like that, because the boar will stop in its tracks like an OP will. But just in case, I'm not going to test it. <laughs> Uh, let's just keep going, and there's the spot. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I made it. And this prize better be worth it in this little hidden crevice here. This also draws a little spot on the map as well, which you'll see shortly. And it's an orange rupee if you need that. As I said before, this game gives you a ton of cash. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my boar there to graze on the sand. <laughs> And I'll show you the spot on the map. See that? That wasn't there before. They didn't. They don't draw that on the map just to sort of hide it from you. And I completely forgot about that. And now I got it shown on the map for you. And that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. So I hope you enjoyed. 
and I will see you in the next part when we start the notorious Cave of Ordeals. See you there.